In this Blender 2.8 tutorial I will show you how to make stepped animations. I've assumed you have some knowledge of working in Blender. Other Blender tutorials can be found in my playlists. I created this very simple scene um, and what I want to do is rotate this what could be used as a second hand say um, 360 degrees in a minute now, it, you have to think about your, if you're going to step any animation you have to think um, sort of outside the box a bit um, with Blender so the first thing you need to consider is um, if you just go into the output properties your frame rate so I know I'm going to go 360 degrees in one minute now if I, let's just change the frame rate from 24 frames a second to 25 and I want to have 60 steps so 25 times 60 I need to set the end frame to 1500 you don't have to um, do the final render at this but it just makes it easier calculating what you're trying to do you'll see why in a minute so with this selected I'm making sure I'm at the very uh, beginning I'm going to press I and as I'm just using the rotation I'm going to left click on rotation and that sets a keyframe for the rotation right at the beginning I'll just roll this so you can see the end and I'm going to go to the jump to the end and I'm going to press R 360 360 left click and then hit I and then left click on rotation and this sets your keyframe up presumably you know all this let's go back to the beginning I'm going to place my pointer right in the corner just makes it easier doing it this way so if you place your pointer in the corners you get this little cross hold your left mouse button down and just drag this over and then come up to the little tab that says editor type left click on this and then left click graph editor now the first thing you'll notice is you've got a Bezier curve if I just roll my middle mouse it sort of starts off slow and then it will finish off slow um, I would change this um, by coming up first, oh, first of all just in the objects transform box just left click on the little arrow and I'm going to just lock off the X and Y rotation by just left clicking on the um, padlocks okay now select the rotation that you're going to use in this case it's Z and make sure it's highlighted then come up to key next to interpolation left click on linear and this will make the animation constant so instead of the usual start off slow and finish slow you'll end up with a constant animation okay make sure that the uh, rotation point is selected and with your pointer in the graphs box press N on your keyboard what you're looking for is the modifiers left click on modifiers then left click add modifier and left click on stepped interpolation and this is where the reference to your frame rate comes into play you know it's a bit of a calculation so depending on what you want to do the length the frame rate and this steps here is something you need to think about because I've made this very simple I want this to literally step every 25 frames because these this 25 
is a second and I need to rotate this 60 times so in the step size I'm going to just left click and type in 25 and hit return and now let's drag this over a little bit if I play this now we've got a stepped animation hopefully that's helped somebody um, thank you for watching cheers